So if there's one thing I love, I love a good website. Now I'm not talking for portfolios per se, but I'm talking for inspiration, some inspiration, maybe some inspiration and resources, but I'm a big fan of always being informed, always being kind of like just bombarded with different ideas because it just makes me a better designer overall. So in today's video, I'm going to showcase a few fun, dope English. Ugh sites that you guys will really enjoy also I'm just curious what sites do you use let me know in the comment section below which one do you like go to every like day or at least consistently enough that you want to share with the class just let me know i'm curious don't forget to check out the first link in the description down below to check out my everything pack 26 custom made products made just for you guys as designers and artists the cool part is of course we have an awesome discord community you guys can also just check out vibe with learn from and, and just like get some critiques all that good stuff but it is just a single purchase and for the rest of your entire life you will get any product that i release free no matter what the price is email directly to you guys join the other 7,000 and 100 and something something plus people and i hope you enjoy it so the first website is love the work more a site curated for art directors and creative minds i want to kind of solve problems for campaigns but probably don't know exactly the way to go about it all of these products and videos featured are award-winning advertising campaigns customized by year like it honestly feels like it, it's like a bit broken to not have this bookmarked if like you just like have any say in the world of marketing at all and as a designer you kind of do so good ideas of course come to those who are organized vigilant and this just a dope site in my opinion so the next site is for the motion people or just the people who kind of like want to know how to communicate motion ideas and that site is known as showreels another collection of awesome motion design showreels that are sure to give you guys some creative juice on how you may want to bring your design to life more i feel like it's just a really great showcase of motion ideas and like a full picture which is why i also want to honorable mention eye candy like i brought this up in a very distant video before but it's one of my favorite sites for sharing to like producers or people who want to understand terminology of like the shot to like help support a project as well it's just like a great inspiration for anyone in the motion field and also if you want to educate yourself with like cool ideas and ways to execute it after that was a really dope site now for my logo designers logosystem.co something i felt super fun to like scroll as like a like an endless doom scroll of creative potential and just some ideas for like your next logo project however my favorite part about this site though is that it has these photos that are chosen to be placed as support but for like any artists especially beginners understand the vibe that you want to design in parallel with your mark let's say you have a really cool mark but you don't know how to like actually design for it it, this is kind of like it does that so if you know if you have an idea like a futuristic or nature vibe and whatever and you wonder if your like logo mark can fit in that put a picture of whatever the vibe is below it does it does it make sense and honestly if it doesn't it's like a logo cheat sheet of cool ideas but also the world they can also live in so valuable now naturally i had to put this sign in partially because it's mine, but it's also super helpful. Sesohq.com slash mood boards, where honestly, I am proud of this personal list of designs that I got massive inspiration from, and I created curated boards that kind of felt that it spoke the same story. So each board also kind of shares a similar thought and color, style, emotions, typography, but you get to kind of see it all work in multiple ways. So for instance, board one is focused and I kind of like leave it up to the viewer, but board one to me was focused on the actual, like the way the framing of a project is made or the composition was done, excuse me. But rather than just having that one idea, I of course scout out and just kind of like hyper focus on that idea and get a whole bunch of other ideas that correlated with this composition. And then you have a whole board of it. So now you're not thinking of, oh, how do you make this work for my idea? But maybe at least five of these ideas can make your one idea work. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's, is it valuable? No, is it? It is, you're welcome. And honestly, it's just a really cool way to show my new site, you know? that's really it however last up for the video is bentogrids.com now bento grids have gotten like increasingly more and more popular and I, and I honestly get it when it comes to giving a ton of information these like really cool compositions i don't think you could probably do it any way else better this site offers a surplus of bento grid layouts that i personally use for like color theory and tone expiration it's like a one-page portfolio image that kind of shares an idea so clearly that you can grab the view of its art direction in like one glance. I personally love it. It's something I come to realize that it's like, you know, it should be a trend for maybe like how you probably showcase like a logo mark and like some supporting designs for it. You probably see it on Instagram a lot and that's kind of most like where I think it probably got trendy from. But I think it's a really cool way to kind of showcase your work. Anyway, that is the end of the video here today. So I hope you guys, of course, enjoyed a nice little quick one. I honestly appreciate websites more than like many people probably. I love information. I love resources. I love you but realistic i think the way you of course excel as a designer and be ahead of a lot of people it's just you, an influx of information is the best because you can kind of decipher it the way you want to and execute the way you need to and uh just have a bunch of resources 
on hand. I tried to rhyme there, didn't work out. But with that being said, Setsu HQ out. Don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, peace. Enjoy your day, enjoy your week, all that good stuff. And I cannot wait to move. This is all going bye-bye soon. Love you. Later.